Thank you for attending this public meeting in support of the programmatic agreement among the Federal Highway Administration, the Nebraska State Historic Preservation Officer, the Advisory Council on Historic Preservation, and the Nebraska Department of Transportation to satisfy the requirements of Section 106 for the Federal Aid Highway Program in the state of Nebraska. This programmatic agreement is designed to streamline Section 106 activities associated with the Federal Highway Federal Aid Program in Nebraska. A similar statewide agreement is currently in place in Nebraska and has been in place since 2015. In large part, the programmatic agreement now under consideration is very similar to the 2015 version. One key difference is that in 2018, the Nebraska Department of Transportation entered into a memorandum of understanding with the Federal Highway Administration to assume responsibility for environmental review and compliance. This is commonly referred to as NEPA assignment. The memorandum of agreement was renewed in 2021. Nebraska DOT has assumed responsibility for categorical exclusions while the Federal Highway Administration retains responsibility for environmental assessments, environmental impact statements, and other unassigned activities. Throughout this document, the reader will note references to projects not assigned to the Nebraska DOT and projects assigned to Nebraska DOT. For those projects or undertakings not assigned to the Nebraska DOT, the Federal Highway Administration is the lead federal agency. For all other projects and undertakings, Nebraska DOT is the lead federal agency. It's important to note that the Federal Highway Administration retains responsibility for government-to-government -government consultation with tribal nations. Under this agreement, consulting parties will be identified and invited to participate in the Section 106 process as early as possible once the project scope has been determined and the Nebraska Department of Transportation professionally qualified staff has had an opportunity to review the project activities. This programmatic agreement establishes three tiers of project review dependent upon the ultimate type of effects to the historic properties. Tier 1 projects are defined as projects which have no potential to cause effects to historic properties. These projects do not typically lead to construction and include such activities as purchase of equipment, grants for training and education, and acquisition of scenic easements. A full list can be found in Appendix C of the programmatic agreement. Tier 2 projects have the potential to affect historic properties, but following screening by NDOT professionally qualified staff are determined not to require case-by-case -case review by or consultation with the Nebraska State Historic Preservation Office, or SHPO. These projects result in a project effects determination of no historic properties affected. It's important to note that consultation with other consulting parties, such as certified local governments and tribal nations, will be completed by the lead federal agency for Tier 2 projects. Within the Tier 2 project category, two subcategories have been created, those projects with minimal potential to cause effects to historic properties, and those projects that, after review by the NDOT professionally qualified staff, require a higher level of effort including inventory and evaluation efforts of cultural resources. Projects that fall within the first category of Tier 2 project classification are activity types that, due to the scope of the project, pose little potential to cause effects to historic properties. These activities generally remain on top of already surface roadways or within the existing fill of the roadway. Examples include restriping highways, minor bridge repair, and mill and fill activities. A full list of activities considered under this first category of Tier 2 projects can be found in Appendix D of the Programmatic Agreement. The second category of Tier 2 projects include those projects that, after review by the Nebraska Department of Transportation professionally qualified staff, are determined to require a higher level of effort, including resource identification and evaluation. Following identification and evaluation efforts, if the project effects determination remains one of no historic properties affected, the lead federal agency will complete consultation following which the project of effects determination will be documented. Finally, Tier 3 projects are those projects that result in a project effects determination of no adverse effect or adverse effect. These projects will require consultation with SHPO as well as with other consulting parties. 
the lead federal agency will complete this consultation, and upon completion of said consultation, the project effects determination will be documented. While I don't wish to call out every stipulation contained within this programmatic agreement, I will call your attention to those involving emergency situations, post-review discoveries, and the treatment of human remains. This programmatic agreement does include stipulations regarding emergency situations which state that emergency repair projects that remain within the roadway or trail cross sections and existing fill locations will be processed as a tier two project with minimal potential to cause effects to historic properties. This results in a project effects determination of no historic properties affected. When the emergency repair project falls outside the roadway cross section or existing fill location, SHPO and Tribal Historic Preservation Offices, THIPOs, will be notified of the emergency repair and will be afforded an opportunity to provide immediate input. Due to the nature of the emergency, work to stabilize, protect, or restore essential traffic will begin immediately. For other projects characterized as emergency projects, the Section 106 process outlined in Stipulations 8 through 10 will be followed. Post-review discoveries are discussed under Stipulation 10. If it is likely that historic properties would be discovered during construction, NDOT shall create and implement a plan for handling such discoveries. If previously unidentified archaeological or historic properties or unanticipated effects are discovered after the lead federal agency has completed its review under this agreement and prior to commencement of project construction, the lead federal agency, in consultation with SHPO, shall carry out the applicable requirements of this agreement. If previously unidentified historic properties or unanticipated effects are discovered after project construction begins, that portion of the project will stop immediately in accordance with NDOT Standard Specification 107.10. The area of discovery will be protected and no further work in the area of discovery will proceed until the lead federal agency determines that the requirements of 36 CFR Part 800.13 have been satisfied, including consultation with tribes as necessary, subject to Stipulation 5 of this agreement, that may attach traditional, religious, and cultural significance to the discovered property. Stipulation 11 pertains to the discovery of human remains during construction. Depending on land ownership, Native American remains and any funerary objects, sacred objects, or objects of cultural patrimony found on federal or tribal land within the area of potential effects shall be treated pursuant to the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act, or NAGPRA or the Nebraska Unmarked Human Burial Sites and Skeletal Remains Protection Act of 1989 if remains are found on non-federal or non-tribal land. In such instances, construction activities in the area would cease, the location would be secured and protected, local law enforcement and the state archaeologists would be contacted. Post-review stipulations would also be in effect and consultation with SHPO and the tribes would be completed by the lead federal agency. Nebraska Department of Transportation would like to thank the Federal Highway Administration, the Advisory Council on Historic Preservation, and the State Historic Preservation Office for their input and review of this programmatic agreement. We do have panelists representing these agencies in attendance, and we welcome your comments and questions. You may also submit comments in writing through October 15, 2022 on our NDOT website. Thank you.